Hi guys and welcome along to another tutorial from Learn For Free. Um, in this tutorial, well actually it's going to be a, a series of tutorials, I'm going to try and do them bite sized for you. I'm going to show you how to create your own website forum um, from a beginner's point of view. There won't be any customization in these tutorials and we won't really be touching any advanced topics. It's basically a what you see is what you get, get you up and running sort of thing and um, I'm going to try and make them as short as I possibly can although we do have a lot to cover so bear with me. Now you can uh, pick one of several hosting companies out there, some are free, some are not free, some offer both packages, you've got to decide what you want to do, whether you want to pay or whether you want to try it out as a freebie first. I've had dealings with one or two companies where I've had sites with and to be honest the best one I've come across is the one that I'm using for these series of tutorials the uh, host is prophpbb.com I'll put the link in the description for you and there's several reasons why I picked it really it's got lightning fast servers so your page loads are very fast it's got fantastic uptime something like 99% or 99 plus percent uptime so that's really good and another major feature especially when you're a beginner is that the um, support helpline there, the support forum that they have on there is absolutely superb and second to none. You get very fast answers, very good answers. Okay, so it helps you all out. So, in order to crack on and, and set your own account up, what you need to do is to click on the link that will be in the description and create your own um, account there with ProPHPBB. Initially, I'd recommend a free account, but you can upgrade and get extra features um, but if you just want to sort of dip your toes in the water then you can start off with a free account it doesn't cost you anything okay fill in the um, form you must put an email address in there because you've got to click a link that comes to your email address so put a valid email address in there and remember that all board communications will go to that email address so you want to keep it sort of you know active really um, so what we, we're looking at is fill that in uh, click the link and you will come to uh, another one which says log in to your domain after you've clicked your uh, activation link in your email and you will end up at this board that you see here. I haven't touched anything on here at all. This is the first thing that you will see when you actually um, first create your forum. Now in this guise it's not really worth uh, much to you, we've got to do a lot of work on here, there's a lot of work behind the scenes to building up a forum and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to create the boards and, and set the board up and everything. We'll be creating new forums probably in the next lesson because there's a little bit of work to get through to set the board up how you want it in this. Uh, I've, I'm called administrator on here, you can put your own name in, you can do that on the form when you fill it in. One thing I would say, if you're doing a, a forum on, say, um, I don't know, railway enthusiasts, and your name is perhaps Dave, it would be better to put railway enthusiasts forum rather than Dave's forum or something like that, yeah, because the um, Google search engines and other search engines will appeal to more people if the description says, you know, railway enthusiasts, they know exactly what they're going to see when they get to your site when they get the search results on Google or, or whichever search engine they're using rather than um, if you just put Dave's site on nobody knows what Dave's site's about okay so without further ado let's have a look and see what we can do here now this is as I say this is what you get when you first start up this is what, your first forum that's created by default we click in there uh, that will just list a post that's been made um, and, and that is that is how it works to get back to the board index we'll just click the board index and that's very simple very straightforward we'll learn more about this later on what I'm wanting to do is on in this lesson is to show you how to set the the boards up so initially what we've got to do is to scroll down to the bottom of the page which isn't very far on this one if we had if we had more forums on obviously we'd have to scroll further down but we're looking for this link here administration control panel okay now then we need to click on that to get behind the scenes to see exactly what we're going to do with the board so we'll, we'll click on that now now what you will find is that you will probably be asked on your first time to re-enter your password it's the same password 
that you've created to enter the main forum so enter that hit submit and it will bring you back to this section now this is your administration control panel as you can see there if you want to get to board index you click that want to get to this part at any time from any of the tabs click admin index what we have here are several tabs as you can see at the top here posting forums so on and so forth each tab does a different uh, thing so we won't be covering them all in this series of tutorials I mean we won't be covering probably styles because that's down to customization maintenance we won't need to touch system we won't need to touch we'll mainly be concerned with the general tab the forums tab the posting and the users and groups uh, small part of permissions because we can set some permissions in this in this tab here that's just for a few extra permissions which we will come up on later so down this left hand side um, what we see here are various options that come under the tab if I click on for instance the forums tab you see the options change we've got less options on that on that particular tab and so on and so forth so the general tab is where we want to start off with so make sure you're in the general tab now this first section quick access we're not going to touch that at all because it's manage users manage groups forums and moderator log currently as we're just setting the board up we haven't got any users on only ourselves. We haven't got any groups again only the administrator group we've only got the one forum and we've no moderator as such so we don't need to touch this section initially so what we're going to be looking at here basically is the board configuration this is how we're going to set the board up so that everybody is a, can use it sort of thing yeah so the first set set we're going to look at is what the settings are in board settings so we'll click on board settings and you'll see a new page open up just scroll that down whoops gone a little bit too far okay so what we've got here is board settings site name it's just called your domain.com you put your site name in there what you want displayed on the on the banner at the front page there um, site description you just want a short text in there you know if you were railway enthusiasts or you know talk site or whatever you want to, to put in there that's yours that's the domain name that's uh, in that we've registered with um, you can if you wish while well, you're setting your board up if you don't want anybody to come across it by accident or try and register or anything like that you can disable the board by clicking yes there I've left it no it doesn't matter and if you do click yes you can put a short message in there up to 255 characters to just to put something like uh, board under construction or whatever you wish and that will be the message that any visitors coming will see on your site okay um, the rest of it straightforward really what language you want the default in just I just leave that at British English date format if how you want the format of the clock and stuff and the posts to display um, your time zone you've got various options there on time zone you can set which one you want there whether it's summertime or not you can set that there default style we just leave that standard we'll leave that standard for now uh, warnings we don't need to worry about that now if you change anything on here guys even you, you know the name or disable board anything at all you must scroll down to the bottom and click submit okay that that's set that you must do for everything that you do on these boards okay so okay so the next one is board features we'll have a little look on what we've got here private messaging so we're gonna we're gonna let the, the message the users use private messaging we're going to let them subscribe to topics we're going to let them subscribe to forums we're not going to allow them to change their usernames uh, it's not very wise to do so because it's trying to keep track of everybody's nightmare if they can change their usernames as and when they wish we're going to allow people to report private messages if they're getting abuse or something like that we're going to allow bb code we'll come to that in a later tutorial we're going to allow smileys we're going to allow signatures um, we will not allow them to disable word censoring word censoring is where we don't want rude words or something like that in there we can put certain words in there we don't want them to be able to override what we set um, we can let them bookmark topics we can allow birthdays and we can allow quick reply which is just a quick reply box rather than having to go through the full system of replying um, I will just leave though all these on default yeah um, we'll we'll cover these in a later tutorial I'm just really showing you the settings at the moment just leave everything on default there so if you have changed anything in there again click your submit button okay we're gonna miss avatar settings out we don't need that until we get some members in here so we'll sort that out there private message settings really is very very similar to what we've just covered at the top here 
um, just a few extras, bits and bats. Oops, I've gone a little bit too far there. Private messaging, yes, we'll enable private messaging. How many folders can they have? It's entirely up to you. Do you want 50 messages? Do you want 100, 500? What do you want in there? Um, what action you will take if the if the message folder is full? Um, limit editing time to a private message if you want them to edit, be able to edit the private message they've sent before it's been read, etc, etc. Uh, I'll just leave all this on default, guys. Just leave everything there on default. And if you've changed anything, again, hit submit on the bottom there. Okay. So the next section we're going to be looking at here is post settings. And on post settings, again, some of these are covered in the previous ones. Allow subscribing to topics, allow subscribing to forums, allow BB code. Um, I, I would, again, just leave everything that is on default as is there. I wouldn't touch anything unless you particularly want to do. But you, you, you find just leaving everything on default there. If you do change anything, again, golden rule, click submit. Okay. So we'll just scroll back up and have a look at the next one. Um, we're not going to touch signature settings yet until we sort of get a member joined up. We'll, we can have, well, we can have a look at that, actually. Um, but really, I would leave that as default. Again, I wouldn't touch anything in there until you get a little bit more competent and you know exactly what you want. Initially, we're just setting up the board, assuming that you know no knowledge at all. Um, if you do happen to change anything, hit submit. Okay. If you change something and you don't want to change it, then just don't hit submit and go back. Feed settings, we don't really need to touch on, on here. We'll do that either later. Uh, it's a more advanced topic. We don't need domain management. We don't need footer code either. Again, for more advanced topics. But one that could be useful for you as setting up, guys, is the user registration settings. So we'll click on that and have a look in there. Now, this is a very important setting at the top. Account activation. Now, when you've got your board set up and people come and visit you, guests come and they want to register to become a member of your site, to join your site, okay, we've got several options available. By default, it's by user email verification. What that means is that when they click the register button and it goes forward, the board will send an email verification link to their registered email, the email that they have put in as a reg to register with. So if it's a fake email, they won't be able to register. Um, they need to click that link in order to verify their account. Now, you can have different options here. You can disable registration completely. So if you've got a private family sort of uh, affair, you could disable registration completely there or, you know, for some other reason that you're doing maintenance or work on your site, you can disable registration. You can have no activation, which is immediate access. That's not really recommended because then you can get a lot of spam bots, um, and spammers and all sorts joining without any checks whatsoever. Okay, so I wouldn't really go that down that way. That the by user email, of course, is the default one. And then we've got by admin, whereby somebody registers to join your site and uh, an administrator has to um, activate their account manually. So they would they would check on that. Okay. Now in here, we've got new member post limit. Okay, this sounds a little bit confusing, but exactly, it's really simple. When a new member joins, if we set the next one to yes, they will be put into a special group called newly registered users, rather than going straight into the standard registered users group. They will be put into a newly registered user group. Now in here, we can put the value of the posts we want before they're taken out of newly registered users and they are put into registered users. So in other words, if you had a site and you, you insisted that they would make a post in an introduction forum, for instance, then if it was only one post, you would put one in there. Okay, you would click that on yes and, and you would make sure that the newly registered user group could only see or could only post rather in the um, introduction forum okay now once they've made that post automatically they will be taken out of the newly registered users group and they would be placed into the registered users group whereby all the other boards would be available to them now this is covered in permissions which is not really covered in this uh, lesson itself but it will be covered in a future lesson and i will show you how to do that okay 
Username, I would leave that as default, but it's entirely up to you. Username length got to be a minimum of three, a maximum of 20. Uh, password length, minimum of six, maximum of 30. You can limit the username characters. You can have any character. You can have all these different combinations here. Uh, set which you want. Again, for um, password complexity, you can set your requirements there. You can force people to make a password change if you want. I wouldn't bother personally, but you can do if you wish. Uh, I would generally leave allow username changes to no. Um, allow email address reuse. Now, this stops people registering um, two accounts from the same email. So it just that little bit extra to stop people creating sort of multiple accounts and, and you know, spamming or whatever they want to do on your on your board. OK, um, so I would leave that as no uh, enable spam bot countermeasures for registrations. I would leave that on yes for sure, um, because it, that helps you to uh, counteract any spam on your forum, which it, it kills forums if you've got a lot of spam on there. Maximum number of login attempts per username is three. So if they've had three goes and they can't remember the password or whatever, then it throws them out. Uh, registration attempts, you can have five registration attempts before, again, it stops them from uh, registering. If, again, golden rule, you've made any changes to anything up here, okay, hit the submit button at the bottom. OK, well, I think that's about uh, covered the first general section for starters anyway, for, for beginners. Um, as I say, you will need to come back to this section lots and lots of times when you're a more advanced user. But for beginners, I think we've covered enough there. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at forums. We're not going to do anything in this lesson. I want to keep the lessons as short as possible. But in the next lesson, what I'll be doing is creating um, some new forums and then you will see the board um, I've just given you a brief look here. It doesn't. It's not very complicated. And then you will see some more boards appearing on the main page, which is there. Okay. Well, what I'd like to do is thank you guys for um, watching this video. Um, I hope it's been of a little bit of help to you. Watch the rest of the series that I'm going to produce, and we'll come up with a really good working forum for you. Um, if you want any more hints and tips, please visit our site. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, learn for free org.uk and also don't remember uh, don't forget i should say not don't remember don't forget that um i would highly recommend that if you're gonna start any forum that you use the link that i've put in the description for pro php bb.com okay thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next video